Right, it's Andrew here. Basically, just this is how you run a, a Vagcom scan. You've got to have, uh, you can't be driving your car when you do the full module scan, by the way, because it tests the ABS controller and different things like that. Um, it's dangerous to do it, so just do it with your engine running. No harm will come to the engine when you're doing this. So, engine running, you're going to go into the VCDS release, whatever it is. I've got the genuine version of Vagcom. Obviously, your diagnostic port on the B5 is in between your. Um, is in front of your fuel filler cup. It's basically like a little purple thing you pull out here or something. I think it's like the coin. Um, basically, what you're going to do for a full module scan, you're going to go into auto scan. Choose one. Your chassis number, if you're not sure, is over the front left side of your car. It's that bit there. You see it from the window. Um, it basically starts WVWZZZ, the chassis number and then something else so mine is a 3b chassis because it's a b5 b5.5 i have no clue i can't remember usually tells you down here though but there we go i think i think it's 3c for the b5.5 so mine's a b b5 3b that'll tell you the modules it's going to scan so you basically just click on start it's going to run through everything you may hear a couple of beeps from the dash when it touches the abs controller which is nothing to worry about um but basically that's going through all the modules now it's going to find every fault code this is where you'll find a lot of them related to me airbag because that lights lit up and it's because the controller for the airbag is absolutely stuffed uh, usually when the airbag stuffed you get a message which says um, when you try to reset the codes you get a message which I cannot remember uh, it's something like internal control module error I think it's 65510 that's me ABS being tested the actual um, controller for the ABS is you have to take out the dashboard it's actually, in terms of position, this is your glove box, it's actually about here, underneath it. So you've got to take, not your glove box, or your, um, gear, your gear cover. You've got to take off this bit here. The panels to release, this is uh, this is one bit. You can remove this cover here, and remove that back cover there. Um, it's actually directly under this bit here. So you would have to, so you could obviously get out by getting in under this bit. Um, and obviously what you would do is you would reset the you would have to re put in a new one if it gives you the internal control module there it basically means it's stuffed um you have to get a new one on the actual uh, abs uh control module it gives you some letters and you have to, it's best to find one similar to your car because you usually need to record them which you can do with vagcom um so it's obviously best to find the right one and with a bit of luck you'll uh, you'll record it and clear any airbags because the new new laws in 2012 apparently is that they're going to be testing airbags so if your lights lit up um if your lights lit up on your car uh you'll fail the mot for it if you come to the smart ass idea of pulling your plug for your airbag light um you'll fail the mot because the airbag light must be lit up when you turn it to the accessories position and then go off when you start the car um so don't think the idea of pulling fuses will get round it because it won't so if you've got a problem fix the bloody thing um i'm probably getting rid of this passat next year anyway because i'm going to strip it down for spares and buy a new car but i'm going to use it to create some diagnostic videos while i'm um while i've got it because it's i've got the overheating problem i've got me parts ready to swap over to run over christmas and obviously the turbocharger i'm hoping to get done over christmas but i've actually found realized that i need to do a new oil line for the bastard as well but twat anyway so we continue and scan through these tests, it's still going through the modules, it's going to take 10-15 minutes. Um, it's been running for about 2 minutes now. It's got a few modules to scan but basically goes through the climatronic uh, and everything else. So obviously when it's finished it'll give you a blue -doo noise. Um, just while we're waiting, some different things you can do. If you want it, if this display here is flashing, uh, um, if this display here flashes, um, it normally means you've got an error message in the uh, it's, it's, the climatronics found an error. What you do to get the diagnostic mode on the climatronic, you hold down this button here, the econ, and that one there, the uh, recirculation button. Push them together, together, and it'll say that'll give. That's the hexadecimal code for the um, part with the problem. You can switch through the error messages. You can go up by pushing the hot button. It cycles through them all until it gets zero zero zero. That means there's no more error message. Each time you cycle through it, it gives you um, the number here, that's your error messages. Just keep pushing that button to cycle through and when you're finished, hold the econ button 
it will say 444 that's all the merits just cleared and then press econ and you're back to normal again so that's how you reset the uh, error codes on the climatonic and read them anyway there's also a way of um, measuring the uh, cooling temperature sensor but I can't remember how it's done now after a look it up so we're still scanning through my car here obviously we've got a few errors it's found which I already knew about and hopefully I won't get any more demons which I don't know about because I'm sick of fixing the bloody things um, usually if you've got water ingress problems on your car you get stuff related to your airbag because it damages the uh, modules and it can't reset them because my airbag modules are covered in mould um, dried them out and your car is pretty much dry now I've got a I've got to seal the front doors, the back doors is completely watertight. Uh, I've got to do the front doors and possibly the ECU seal in the engine bay, then I'll have a watertight car. So I might get that all done over Christmas. Um, I need to fix my door lock actually, because my door lock isn't working. And it, obviously, my door lock repair, I actually found out my um, key bit where it puts the repair kit in, it's scored. There's a little chamber, and it, on the inside, it's completely scored. so. I can't repair it anyway. There we go, so it's finished, it's just went Right, so if we look through here, the ones I had was airbag errors. Uh what else we got? So we got two errors and then you got intake manifold pressure control difference, engine start blocked by immobilizer. I might have to look into that one because I think that's my battery. Um I'm sure my battery's dying and that's possibly what was caused before, I'll have to check that one out, I might have to reset it. Quickest way of resetting it will be disconnect the battery cables and uh, push the battery cables together. Uh, that's a new one there, signal for duration of ignition off time, I haven't got a fucking clue what that one is. Uh, 10 errors, which are these ones. Uh, that one there, internal control module memory error, 65535, if you don't, if this message doesn't clear, or you get an error message when you try to clear it, the control module is stuffed. Um, so, we went through that, that's all the errors there. Uh, no errors on the instruments, and then you got central locking, which is because I haven't replaced, I need to replace the door locks. Lock module for central locking, front driver's side, and rear right. Rear right? What the fuck's wrong with the rear right? Uh, the fuck knows. Um, anyway, so we close that. Uh, I'll set up, we'll save it because I'll need it. Uh, so, save. Type your usual site in. Whatever, that's going to be our mileage. Close that. Yes. So we'll close. Um, I want to. I want to show you that airbag controller. So the airbag controller is under uh, the engine group. Select control module to select. Option 15 airbags. Read the warnings on the Rostec website because there's something where you can set off the airbags um, when you clear the fault codes. I can't remember what it is like, but. Uh, so we'll go to fault codes down there. So there's all my error codes. So this one there, internal control module memory error. I'm going to go to clear codes. You get an error message saying you want to erase the DDCs. And when you get that message there, that means you control no that means you control the modules fucked and you need a new one and it can also mean something else but nine times out of ten it's just the control modules stuffed and you need a new one um so obviously you get the same message back again so i'm looking to get rid of that uh better functions of agcom you can do a full diagnostic test you can't uh reprogram you can reprogram uh keys for your car but you need the uh Uh, the, I think it's the SUK code or the PUC code or something for the immobiliser. Um, you need that code, which you can't get with this tool, but you can get with a tool called VAGTACO. The real version is about £300. Uh, the copies on eBay is about £10, but the limited functionality is something. Um, so you can get that code, and then obviously you can reprogram the keys for your car if you've got remote central lock-in. So I don't know how it's done now. It's probably, in, it's probably under the uh, basic settings or something like that. So at the moment it's measuring my locks, which I've got no fucking functionality. Obviously no response from the control or either like, but never mind. Anyway, so we exit that. Obviously you got different things on Vagcom, you got your service reset, so if you get if it flashes down there, I see an INSP, it means you need a service, you can basically just reset it straight away. It goes ding and resets all your mileage for you. So you can see where it says place error remission, so you can change all of them there. 
service you can change oil service inspection not oil service inspection not really bothered about that because I don't need it uh, general options for Agcom user interface you can change the size of the screen whether you want uh, 1040 by 768 or really high resolution all that crap um, you've got a generic OBD scanner here the cable I'm using is a key 2 USB which supports up to about the B5.5s after you get the newer cars they need CAN bus technology which you'll need an adapter called a hex USB uh, plus CAN that's a USB adapter which supports the CAN bus protocol um, so obviously generic one you can scan the modules there like that you can check for DDCs and if you're confused you can click on convert to VAG codes and that'll, that'll give you in the roster codes you do read data obviously this is where it'll run through the generic modules on any car uh, it won't run on any car but Whatever cars it can scan, it'll give you the data for. Uh, that's me and Tate Manifold for sure. Absolutely no idea if uh, that's the right value for mine or not, but what the hell. Uh, engine cooling temperature, mine says at the moment it's. What's that? 90, 80, 70, 90, 100, 110, 130, it's one of them. So mine at the moment should be able to 70 degrees. Yep, that's right. I wasn't actually looking at the screen when I was doing that, I was actually looking at me. Uh, that bit there because you can see I was just trying to work out what the notches were so it's saying 66 degrees at the moment uh, might be able to heat it up a bit the engine these engines should be running at night